You're right there. Hello. Welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. Last time we left off we was here at the offshore oil rig. We'd just been captured, captured by Bartoli and his grunts whilst trying to hitch a ride illegally on his airplane boat thing. He wasn't happy so one of his men knocked us out with a spanner and they have locked us in this storage room type place here on an oil rig somewhere in the world not all too sure where but hey details so the first thing we need to do is we need to find a way out and fortunately for, Na for, for Nara who's she? for Lara I know the way we pull this secret lever and whilst it's telling us what the lever did we run and begin our escape up over the box round that's it because it is on a timer so we can ill afford mistakes like that and then when we make it we're safe although an alarm is sounded which means we're in trouble big trouble because we ain't got any guns predictably why would we have guns um, so we need to start being careful here because these these men do or at least this man has a baseball bat he's very tall no, no, that man has a gun for some nefarious purpose. Not quite sure why. Huh. Don't beat me! I have no idea what these are for either. But, never mind. Let's just get out of here. Because we're getting massacred like no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no idea what you're supposed to do to deal with those guys. So... Oh, you are supposed to kill them somehow. Um, okay, well, I'm not sure how to do that. So, let's just... I mean, can I... Off, offhand, can I pick up the fire extinguisher? And, no, that seems like a fairly permanent fixture. Uh, okay, let's just dive! And hope for the best. <laughs> well, when there's nothing else you can do just run <laughs> okay well at least now we're safe uh, question mark we can have a swim about and see what's going on it doesn't look like a whole lot other than this lever over here by the fan which um, looks very scary and ominous if we pull this what does that do that opens that, and I bet if we swim straight across the fan's path, it sucks us in. So we should probably go around where these barrels are, because they're not being moved. Oh, it's still getting us! Okay. Right. Well, that's certainly one way of not doing things. Um, huh. Okay, and I've got to do all this again. I will see you when I have done all this again. Hurry up! <laughs> okay. So, okay, we need to be careful now. Don't be reckless. Is that a boat? No, it was part of the plane. Okay, let's save here underwater. Perfectly rational. And have a bit... Oh, can we... Oh, we can't go up inside the plane yet. The door's closed. Okay. I don't think we can get on the side yet. So I think the only way for us to do this is to pull the lever and be a bit more careful about how we swim into that grate. I hope it's not on a timer. Because a lot of the switches and buttons in this game are. Which isn't cool. Not cool at all. So let's try again. Let's swim right up to the edge and go down. Are we going to be okay? We are, although I don't have any breath. Probably should have checked that before I went on this expedition. So hopefully we can uncover some air pocket soon. Now would be amazing. It's not going to happen, is it? We we gon' die. We are gon' die. We did. Okay. Well, now we know what we're doing. We just need to be a bit more careful about how we attack the fan, basically. Which is fun. It's a learning curve. That's what this is. It's all. It's a learning process. The process has been gunned for learning. I don't like the learning process, but it must be done. You must process 
you're, you're learning. You must learn to process before you can process your learning, which is counter counterintuitive, I know. But but bear with me because I, I will soon be finishing my lecture on pro procedural learning. What we need to do is we must learn to process by processing to learn. It's a very key notion. Let me continue to elaborate upon this notion by simply asking you a simple question. What, given the option, what would you suggest is the most unusual form of plasticine? Now I know to some that question may be completely redundant. You know, some of you may not have ever played with plasticine. But I, I urge you to consider it with, with the weight and the seriousness that the subject requires. Because one cannot be certain as to how to best utilize plasticine for the simple reason that it is completely malleable and so open to being molded. So one cannot simply just analyze one form of plasticine, they must all analyze every form of plasticine, which will take some time to, 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 to do because there, there are so many forms of plasticine. In fact, I, I can recall literally the one type of plasticine called modeling clay. And then, of course, there's the varieties that you have to bake in the oven and all that sort of stuff. It's really a fascinating subject, but that is all we have time for today. So I, I thank you for your, for your patience, for listening and understanding. Um, I understand, you know, not everyone has a keen interest in plasticine, but it, it's, it's a necessary module for, for, this, for the completion of this course. So I, I urge you to treat it with, as I say, with the gravity that it, that it, that it requires. Otherwise, before too long, you'll be up, up Pooh Creek with a, without, a, some, without sailing apparatus, which, which is not what we want. We, we don't want you anywhere near Pooh Creek, uh, let alone whether or not you have the correct apparatus or not. Huh. Uh, thank you, goodbye, God bless, and as always, remember your roots, because they keep you anchored. Enjoy. So, it looks like we have to go this way. That's not open yet, which is fine, because them two men are running around in there. What's this button do? Does this let them out? Ah, that opens the plane! Well, that is beneficial, because well, we can't go that way, but we can get in. So, sploosh. Let's get up inside this plane. Hopefully there's no one on board. Otherwise, that will be a danger. What does this button do? Oh, that stops the propeller. That is literally the pr the plane's controls. The plane's controls are that button. Oh, have I got to swim through the fan again? Well, no, I don't want to swim through the fan. But it looks like I've got to swim past the fan anyway. Oh, nutters. That's just another thing that could plausibly go wrong. And most probably will go wrong. If we're honest, which which we should be, that's that's the decent thing to do, then... Oh, I, I just closed it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I don't know if you know that. I, I'll be receiving my idiocy degree in the post one day, but um, today is not that day because it is 11pm and day has finished now, technically. 11 o'clock in the evening. It's, it's evening. Night time. Good night. God bless. You know, all that sort of stuff. Story time. Uh, God's blessed you twice while you've been watching this video. That's very, very generous of him, and you should feel very blessed. Okay. Hello. Ah! Da 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 da. Just don't swim into the fan. <laughs> oh God! Can you imagine? For a minute there, I thought you probably wouldn't have to imagine, and it'd probably happen anyway. Mind you, air. Forgot to take that into consideration. But we should be fine because it's literally just up this tube, as they say in America. Up here. Sweet. Okay. So hopefully the plane's engines are still turned off because if they've turned back on again, then this process just got a hell of a lot longer. No, it's fine. They're still off. That's cool. Near the alarm. Oh no! Oh no! No! Now they can shoot through windows! Oh no! And I fell off! <laughs> 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 oh.
Oh, God. Damn! <laughs> well, they couldn't do that before. Nuts. Big, fat, ready salted pistachio monkey nuts. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm probably going to have to save when I get out this time. Just to make sure I'll be perfectly safe. I wonder if it would be possible to push one of them in the water. I don't want to try it because I'll probably die. But it's an interesting thought. I've never, never tried it or never tried to find out. I'm probably going to get massacred here trying to jump onto that plane. Okay, that's cool. Do a roll. That's cool. And run and jump. Grab onto something. Good girl. Okay, so now we're on the plane here. What can I do from up here? Can I find my guns, maybe? That would be useful. Oh! Oh! Oh, I can find my guns. Hey, hey! Well, I've got a set of guns, anyway. I I've got my regular pistols. Well, that'll do. That'll ding-dang do for me. All I need is some guns so that I can get rid of the men who shot me through the damn window. Not cool. I don't know what I was trying to achieve here. Ah, looks like we're going back around again. Unless I can climb out on the side here. If I can, that'll ding dang do for me. Oh, I can. Excellent. Come at me, fellas! It's dating time! You have nothing of value to bring to my life. Therefore, yours shall be relinquished. Oh, you have guns! Ah, the barrels! They did not roll last time. Well, that is what I like to call... Mega panic station. What are you doing, girl? Pick up the yellow thing. God, blimey. It's no wonder we keep dying and having to use mouth pa mouth packs? Health packs <laughs> and stuff. Get it together, woman. Right. I mean, really, the person who needs to get it together is myself. I need to not panic. That's the That's the big quandary we're running into here. The yellow pass card. Thank God for the letter P. Put it into the holder receiver thing there. Get the guns out again. Good girl. Always have your guns go guns out. It's a sign of strength and bravado. No, not that way. No, not that way. What does this button do? Oh, I turned the alarm off. Excellent. Nothing going on up here. Oh, apart from dogs. Oh, and a man with a gun. Of course a man with a gun. Hello. Yes, bow before me, cretin. You shall kneel and feel my wrath. Ooh. Oh. Oh. So how do I set you guys off safely? I set you guys off safely by saving beforehand. And then... Oop, and up and up and up. There we go. Nicely done, girl. You can do things right when you try. There's a red thing there, which means I need a red pass card, thank God for the letter P. Now I wonder where I can find one of those. Maybe it'll be in the other direction. It probably won't be, because everyone knows there's only one direction. Up and around here, nothing around here. Oh, there's a wee wheelie door. Let's turn the valve. Good girl. Anything? Nothing? Something? 
Oop. Hey, up! What the, the? What are you doing? Come creeping up from behind me? You don't think you're trying to scare me or something? There's another one. Come on. Yeah, you got nothing on this girl now. She's got her guns back. She has got her guns back. She has got her big guns. Righty ho. Evidently not that way. Let's go through this wheelie door then. Turn the valve, yeah. Valvelicious. Oh, for the love of good God. What do you want? You want to kill me? I don't know what I'm trying to do anymore. Kill him, woman! God's sake. Such hard work sometimes, especially in a cramped room like this. What have we got in the corner here? What's this? Can I pick this up? No, that's the, oh, it's just a deck of playing cards. And um, what do we got here? Some spears or something. Oh, oh this is why, look, we're in the, like, the officer's quarters. We're in the bunks. Huh, I wonder if there's anything interesting on the top bunks of these things. There normally is in games like this. The top bunks harbour all manner of secrets. There's actually quite a long fall. I'm sure some of the officers must break their legs on some mornings when they try and get down. But see, I told you. Told you there's secrets on top and look at that. Got my pair of guns back. Another pair of guns. She's got two pairs of guns. That's a bit mutated. Why has this guy got a button? What lever is levers him above the others that he gets a button? What does the button even... It opens up the emergency hatch at the other end of the bunk room, of course. What else would it do? So... How do I get up there? I've got to do a jump from... Oh! Hello! Didn't even see you there. <laughs> so, so busy focusing on the top bunks. Didn't check the bottom bunks. What have I got here now? Tis the harpoon gun, which shoots grade A listed top quality whale pummeling shafts of death at my enemies. But only underwater. If I use it on land, it's a bit now. Oh, did it close? Is it on a timer? Get real. Go home. What's the necessity in that? It's just irrelevant and boring oh it is on a timer and all oh right this time Lara don't get distracted by any harpoon guns that's it just nice and quick we need you to get back up there up onto these bunks that's it do do a barrel roll and then can you just jump up there we'll have to see not that way oh that way Right. So probably got to pull the button again now, haven't I? <sighs> this time for sure. For sure, maybe. For sure not. Maybe. Maybe. Yes! We are in the vents! Oh yeah! Now what's this way? To steer we down. Stairway to heaven. Followed by a shaft. And we can't even see down that shaft. This seems like a perfect opportunity to save and say... See you in the next episode, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, then please, by all means, feel free to leave a comment and a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel a lot. I am very appreciative to you all, as always, for sticking around and watching. Feel free to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. We're close to hitting a thousand subscribers and uh, who knows, a thousand subscriber may even get a shout out. <laughs> See you next time everyone. Goodbye.